for joining. So tonight we're going to work on increasing hip flexibility. So the hips is joints and muscles um, that can become tight uh, through sitting or running, cycling. So what we want to try and do is increase that flexibility but not make them too flexible if that makes sense so the hips are still strong uh, which this does this increases strength in our joints these uh, long hell stretches because we're kind of stressing the joints if we don't stress them enough it becomes degeneration of the joints okay so we'll get started so we're going to start in initial relaxation as usual so if you want to, you can make it constructive rest, or you can just let the feet stretch out. It's up to you, whichever will help you relax more, whichever um, way you can relax deeper. So there's options of knees together and feet out, or there's options of legs out straight with the small toes falling down to the floor. And let the arms come out to the side, the palms facing up. And make yourself comfortable. Let go of the stresses of the day. Try to feel as though you can let go of any worries and just enjoy this next hour for yourself. I'm just going to move my phone. Hi Roger. Okay, so if you've got the usual blankets and blocks, also if you've got a t-shirt or a um, belt or rolled up towel or tie. So we'll be doing hamstring stretches, hip opening postures. We'll be stretching out the ITB, the iliotibial band. So just have any equipment that's handy. Okay, so as you're settling into the mat, become in tune, first of all, with the whole of the body relaxing down onto the mat. feel like you can notice that the floor is actually supporting your weight. Now bringing your awareness to your breath, starting with the natural breath, try to just stay focused on any part of the body that moves on your inhale and then part of the body that moves as you exhale. So a natural breath, we're not really trying to change our breath at the moment, so it might be very subtle. You might not even notice it and that's when because we can hardly notice it, that's when our sometimes our thoughts come and we lose the attention on the breath. And that's normal.
change from your natural breath. We're moving into the three-part breath or the full body breath, uh, which does have lots of benefits. So normally we might just be breathing into our chest. And that's, we're not getting much benefit from just breathing into the chest. If we can breathe into the full body, we can increase our lung capacity. We can help um, resolve things if we do it enough, like asthma and high blood pressure and high heart rate. Also reduce inflammation. So if we start by just bringing the hands onto the tummy and breathing in and feel the tummy expand. And then take the breath further all the way into the side ribs, the back ribs, and the chest expands. And then exhaling from the chest, the side ribs, and the tummy. So see if you can get in a steady rhythm with this full body breath. And not trying to um, exaggerate it too much. Try to see if you can get like a wave as you breathe in the wave of breath up the body and then the wave down the body as you breathe out. I'll keep reminding you about the full body breathing, especially in these lying down postures. They're uh, really good for that. We can focus on that. Okay, so we'll go into the first pose. So tonight we're going to do half happy baby. So if you bring your left foot, so it's pressing in the mat, and then taking hold of your belt or towel or rolled up top so we're placing the belt whatever you've got around the sole of the foot we're letting the elbows rest on the floor we're trying to rest at the back of the head so it's on the mat as well not throwing the head back with, out from the chin back so if your chin's going back or your eyes are going back you probably need um, a block to put your head on to rest your head on which will lengthen the back of the neck because we don't want to be compressing or shortening the back of the neck. Okay, so I'm just going to first of all gently warm the hamstring up. So taking the leg away and then bringing the leg back. So this is inclined leg raise. Okay, so just feel where you might notice the uh, stretch in the hamstring. You might even feel a stretch in the calf. Here we want to make sure the whole of the back is resting on the floor. When we go into half happy baby, the bottom might come off. We want to keep the tailbone and the sacrum relaxing down into the floor. So if it comes off the floor, we just need to take the leg away. Because this isn't kind of uh, a pose where we want to round the back. We want to keep the back neutral or flat. Okay, so now we're going to take hold of the outside of the right foot and try and bring the right knee towards the armpit. And we also want to gently encourage the right foot to go past the head. So if you want to, again, you can keep that knee bent and hold on to your belt or towel, whatever you've got. Or you can use your hand to draw the knee towards the armpit. It's up to you. Try not to, again, lift that bottom off. 
try to keep your bottom pressing down and also try not to be as you reach it up try not to have your shoulders really crunching up by the ears try to relax and soften your shoulders away okay so we'll hold for about three minutes but it is quite intense the hamstrings in the hip socket so if you need to either stretch out the leg or bend straight in the leg so it's it's up to you we can keep the eyes closed Just remember to go to that first edge as well, so not going too deep at first. We don't want any sharp sensations anywhere, it's just a sensation that's um, 40 or 4 out of 10. 40% or 4 out of 10. There's a couple of options as well what you want to do with the left leg you can extend it all the way along the floor if you want to and that's even more intense oh. so maybe that's another edge to go to maybe towards the end of the three minutes or we can go into like a half butterfly which maybe opens the hips a bit more so see See what works for you. You can have the inside of the, um, so you can have your knee on the outside of the right arm and the right shoulder if you want to. About another six deep breaths. Maybe extending that left leg if it's not too much. Maybe changing position of the hand. So now the hand could come the inside of the right ankle. Slowly bring down the right foot to the floor, maybe with relief, and slowly extend the right leg along the floor and the left leg along the floor. So we're just going to lie here and notice the difference in the right leg compared to the left leg. might feel like there's lots of sensations or energy or tingling in the right leg or the right ankle or the right hip area, the right foot. And slowly bending up both legs. And then keeping your right foot pressed into the floor, taking the belt again or towel around the sole of the left foot. So first of all, gently stretching open the hamstring so we can take the foot away and draw the foot 
back up. Just checking that the back's nice and straight into the floor, not uh, twisted in the spine or anywhere. go to the other side with the half happy baby so again you can try different um, positions with the foot the foot could be going way past your head the um, hand can be outside the left foot or inside the left foot it, it's up to you really and the knee could be coming closer to the armpit or outside the left armpit that right leg can be extended across the floor and it's a tight uh, stretch for the hip flexor. Or we can come into half butterfly with that right leg. So the sole of the right foot can be coming to the centre of the body. So again, holding for about three minutes. Notice more tension in this side. You can try and do maybe a minute, the first minute working on the full body breath. About another 60 seconds, maybe go to your edge for the last six breaths or so. So maybe extending the leg along the floor or drawing the knee in, whichever works for you. Maybe trying to stretch the foot a bit more over the head. Again, slowly bringing that left foot down, extending the left leg along the floor, and straight away maybe noticing those big sensations. As we've had that left foot in the air, we bring it back down, the energy rushes around the whole of the left leg. Slowly bend up the legs again, the feet flat on the floor, first of all, a couple of pelvic tilts to release off the spine. So we're bringing the 
pubic bone up towards the face, maybe squeezing the glutes, feel the back rounding, and then we're tilting the bottom on the floor and the back's arching away. So feeling that um, just articulation of the spine as it rounds and arches. Next, we're going into full happy baby. So here we bring, first of all, the knees in towards the chest. Maybe have your towel nearby. So here we take the feet apart and taking hold of the outside of the uh, feet or inside, it's up to you, and the knees in towards the chest. And the feet, if you can, away over the head. But try and again keep your tailbone on the floor, we can take the feet apart for a deeper stretch in the groin area. If that's too much, you can cross the ankles or just bring the soles of the feet together and then try and press the knees away. A bit like a reclining butterfly with the feet in the air. So holding for about three minutes. Very nice here to practice that uh, full three part breath, so whole body breathing. So another six deep breaths. slowly releasing, stretching both legs out slowly, along the floor, okay we'll take a breath in and stretch the arms as far as you can above the head, point the fingers, point the toes, breath out slowly, 
bring the arms down. Then we'll do some reclining windshield wipers, so knees apart and feet apart, and taking the knees down to one side, and the opposite side. Bring the knees into the chest. Okay, so next we're going to do um, an ITB stretch. So we're going to target the hips and the outside of the uh, hips from the hips to the knees. Okay, so here what we want to do is the arms are up first of all like in a, a cactus shape. So stretch out, uh, just trying to work out how to do this. So if you bring your left foot to the floor, the left knee is pointing down towards the centre, and then bring your right foot over the left knee. Okay, so what we're trying to do is um, just see how that feels, first of all. Okay, and then what you want to do is draw um, the left foot, sorry, the right foot, if you can, further up, so it's outside the left hip. And if you can, you can reach and take hold of your left ankle, uh, right ankle with your left hand. And then if you can as well, you can draw that left foot up towards the right hip. So you kind of got your right knee pressing up towards the ceiling and the left knee uh, kind of straight down, if, if that makes sense. So, and then try and keep both shoulders on the floor and relax the shoulders down. So if that doesn't reach that right foot, you can bring a, um, a block so it's just outside the left knee and you can rest your right foot on the block. So that's one option. The uh, target areas are actually both thighs. So the target area might be in that left um, thigh. So you can draw that left foot up if you want to for a deeper stretch or it might be the outside of the right thigh, whichever feels okay. So we're holding for about another, about another two minutes. You can keep taking, maybe taking that right knee back to the right and then lifting it back up if you want to be more dynamic. So kind of coming into a cross-legged position and then drawing the right knee over to the left again. So finding what works for you. This area, this ITB, is quite hard to um, target in stretching. Um, we, this is what we can neglect and it can cause obviously knee problems mainly. So we can do this one, we can do standing stretches as well uh, with the legs crossed over and folding forward. That's a nice ITB stretch. to slowly come out. First of all, just drawing the right foot and the right leg straight and then the left leg straight. 
maybe shaking out the legs. So I don't feel like that one is um, as intense as the happy baby. But maybe it's because we did happy baby, it wasn't as intense. Or for you it might have been intense. So we'll go to the other side. So this time drawing your right foot up. So the right knee is facing down. So you might feel a stretch straight away in the right uh, thigh muscles. Then we're drawing the left foot over the right knee. And again, if you want to, you can have a block or a cushion so it's on the outside of the right knee. Okay, and if you want to, you can take hold of the left ankle with the right hand. And finding what's good for you for three minutes. Three more deep breaths. Bringing both legs straight out. into the chest. The back might feel a bit tender here. So we can bring the knees into the chest, slowly take the knees away so the back's flat and then the back's rounded as we draw the knees in again. Back. Drawing yourself up to seated, either take the knees down to one side and press in or roll up using the tummy muscles. Okay, so we're going to come into the inner thigh stretch, the butterfly. So if you have a block, better to sit on a block. Also, if you have a cushion or a pillow to lean on. So I'll just go and get my 
Okay, so just sitting on the block. And then the soles of the feet together. So we can come forward. We can, first of all, maybe push the knees away with the elbows. Or we can stretch the hands forward and interlock the fingers. We can um, rest our head in our hands if we bring the hands onto the shins, maybe. Or we can bring a block on top of our feet and see if we can rest our head on the block. And we can draw the feet forward and we're allowing the back to round. Closing the eyes and rest in here for three minutes. Focus on that deep, full breath. And now bring the hands onto the cushion or the floor, lift up very slowly. First of all, stretching out both legs. And then bringing the hands behind, we can puff the chest up towards the ceiling, look up towards the ceiling. If you want to, you can bend the knees and lift the hips up towards the ceiling into your counter pose or rebound. And then coming back down. Okay, so next we've got the swan. So we'll do proud swan and sleeping swan. So coming now onto the front into tabletop. I'll start by bringing the right knee up towards the right wrist and then we're bringing that left leg back as much as it will go. 
So we can try and draw the right knee, the right foot up a bit. It doesn't matter if the right heel is near the top of the left thigh. So here we can lift up into proud spot, uh, swan, as a gentle back bend after the rounding of the back that we did or the lengthening of the back that we did in butterfly. So holding for a couple of breaths. If you want to, you can stay in the proud swan for a few more breaths. It's up to you, it's a bit more yang. If you want to make it a bit deeper, you can take your hands behind and interlock the fingers. <laughs> more intense uh, back bend. If you want to, we can go into the uh, even more intense, be lifting up that back foot. See if you can take hold of it with your left hand and pressing and lifting up, drawing the foot towards the body, which is very intense hip opener, hip flexor opener. So see how that feels maybe, Bit, another option, or we can go into our sleeping swan. So bringing maybe a block forward or a cushion forward to rest your head on, if you want to. And we're staying on the elbows, just looking down towards the mat. Hold in for about three minutes. Making sure there's no pain in the right knee. If there's pain in the right knee, I'll give you the option of reclining swan. Which is right ankle over left knee and drawing the left knee in towards the chest. Still a brilliant hip stretcher, hip opener, hip, uh, glute stretch, piriformis. Much better for the knees. Gingerly, slowly, take the right knee back, grow maybe. So to open up the back of the right leg, you can step the right leg back, the right foot back. Or we can lift up into a gentle down dog. Maybe walking the heels up and down. Quite a strong rebound sensation here, especially in the back of that right leg. down to the mat. We can change sides with the proud swan first of all. So from all fours drawing the left knee up towards the left wrist, extending the right foot 
back as much as we can. Try not to be leaning over to your left hand side so the hips are forward. Again, you might find it helps to have a block under that left hip just to perch it up maybe. Okay, so first of all, proud swan. So we're trying to draw the hands back. Doesn't matter if they don't come back. If your back feels too compressed, stay with the hands forward. Lifting the chest a little bit if you can. Then the other option would be to lift up the right foot, take hold of the right ankle with the right hand, drawing the right foot towards the right glute. Very intense probably for a, a lot of us. Okay, and bring the Stay there longer if you like, a bit, bit intense for me. And then going into our sleeping swan, maybe resting your head down on a block or a cushion, or just looking down towards the floor. And stretch out the hands if you want to, coming down closer. Again, check the left knee isn't any sharp sensations so if there is we go into the reclining version with the left ankle over the right knee and drawing the right foot off the floor Bring yourself out now, <laughs> back to all fours slowly, stepping a foot away at a time. Maybe lifting up into down dog. Okay, so we'll finish 
um, either in final relaxation or if you want to you can uh, take your legs up the wall um, so bring the hips as close as you can to the wall and take the feet up so we want the whole of the back to be resting on the floor. If your hamstrings are tight, your bottom will be covered away. So you might just just need to move the body a bit further away from the wall. And check that the body's straight so the spine's not twisted in any way. And we can have the legs wide apart for more um, stretching of the inner thigh, but not very relaxing maybe. So obviously this is final relaxation, so you want to feel as though you're relaxed. So whichever way, you could have the soles of the feet together with a butterfly at the wall, or just lying on your mat is okay. Whatever feels perfectly good for you. We're going to work on a bit of uh, breath sensing. So sensing our breath in the final relaxation. So we can bring this relaxation into our subconscious. A feeling of more feeling of rest, openness and relaxation. So um, just feel as though you can feel that there's no need for the muscles to do anything now. Just letting go of the muscles, all the muscles in the body. Letting go of each other. Become stiller, quieter, quieter and fully relaxed. Relax down into the floor and fully release all body holding. Now bring your attention to the sensation of your body breathing. Just noting, just feeling without going into any thinking. Notice your body breathing, the sensation and feeling of each inhalation and exhalation as it comes and goes. As your body inhales, notice your belly, midsection and chest expanding. As your body exhales, feeling yourself settling releasing and letting go. Complete awareness of body breathing. If your mind wanders from the awareness of breath, gently and non-judgmentally bring it back, noting the gentle expanding and releasing of your whole body with each inhalation and exhalation. Welcome and nourish the feeling of your breath as you continue to notice the body as it simply breathes. Welcome the feeling of well-being with each and every breath. See if you can notice your entire body and mind relaxing with each breath, feeling at ease, be 
feeling peaceful, feeling grounded. surface that's supporting your body, the feeling of the environment around you, any sounds, the sensations of your body, sensations of well-being, thoughts that are present. remain here as long as you feel comfortable or gently bring some movement back into the body if you want to bring yourself out of final relaxation wiggling the fingers wiggling the toes rotating the ankles rotating the wrists When you're ready, stretch out both legs or bring the knees down to the floor if you have legs up the wall. Slowly pressing yourself up to seated. And again, thank you for joining. Have a good rest of the evening and hope to see you soon. Thanks again. Goodbye.